Roblox. 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 Shut the fuck up. I know Kaneko Kitten made a video on this, but f that. This is my channel we're talking about. What's up, guys? It's your boy Infrared with another commentary video, since most of y'all seem to like this stuff. This time, I'll be talking about bullshit news reports about Roblox. There are a lot of these, but I'm going to be taking a look at two reports in particular that annoy me the most. Also, if any parents are watching this, please try to understand what I'm about to say. With that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, so this report just disappoints me. This news report claims to just make parents aware of Roblox and the online interactions kids can have with strangers, but that's a load of bull. As you can see, all these people I'm about to show you with only negative outlooks on the site and a lack of research or effort put in to the making of this news report. Get your popcorn, because this is going to cringe you to death. Take a moment and look at the apps on your child's cell phone or tablet. There could be vulgar material and even messages geared toward your child. Uh, parents are talking a lot about this on social media. It's a game app called Roblox. It's geared toward 8 to 12 year olds and consumer news, uh, consumer investigator, excuse me, Libba Holland joins us now to explain how it may be inappropriate for children. I might make a video on why Roblox shouldn't be geared towards children under 10 or children at all for that matter in another commentary video, but let's just continue for now. This app is called Roblox. It's a simulation role play game. <clears throat> platform there are multiple games on roblox which makes it a platform sorry for the nitpick i'm just expressing the lack of research done before this news report came out you can see and hear the lack of care and effort in their voices and in their faces it is literally too obvious to ignore Let's continue. It's really for anyone of all ages, including kids. I'll give you a look at it. You can play different games like Boys and Girls Dance Club, Roboxian Life. Wait, hold up. Did you just say Roboxian Life? Did you sleep through your English classes as a child? Let me rewind that. Roboxian, Roboxian, Roboxian. Yeah, she definitely said Roboxy in life. There's an L in Roblox for a reason. You know what? Let's just continue. Even prison life or murder mystery. Yeah, if I'm being personally honest, if I heard a if, if I heard about a game called Prison Life and my child was playing it, I would do some research on it so that I'd figure out if it was safe or not. And then I tell my child if they would be allowed to play it or not. It seems rash just to judge a game based on the name, but you know, these these reporters don't care about that. They just want a story. Let's move on. So I asked parents what they thought about it. I don't really like um, prison life and murder mysteries. Uh, they're not allowed to play with them. And I've read that there's bad things, like, you know, there's predators and things that get to him on that i wouldn't allow that predators huh that is the dumbest excuse i've seen if you have children that are 10 years old or older you can teach them how to be safe online if you fear your child being attacked or something they're either super young or you obviously didn't teach them online safety to play on the roblox app users sign up choose an avatar then role play and interact with other users in the game Prison Life, it's the guards versus the prisoners. I have never heard a more generic description of a game in my entire life. Guards versus prisoners? That's all you got for a description about prison life? I'm not just mad at the fact that they didn't mention anything useful. Well, yet, I guess. But it shows a lack of effort and time put into the story, and... They probably did this to either pity the parent who reported this, or to get views. 
In Boys and Girls Dance Party, the avatars talk about the popular music that plays. You have to like look over their shoulders. I find that even if we have the parental controls set up, they can still like get around them or they're getting apps that are playing in sections that we don't want them in. That is why you teach your kids online safety. It is not that hard. How many times must I repeat myself? The Roblox website says it protects users 12 and under, preventing them from sharing personal information. It also protects players' safety by filtering inappropriate content. It says users should report vulgar chat messages or block any other user. I mentioned crap like safe chat in my last video, and if you didn't see that, you should. Basically, what I said about safe chat is that it comes nowhere near to fulfilling its purpose and greatly needs to be fixed. Let's continue. I mean, getting online, speaking to strangers, you know, you're setting your kids up for um, a very dangerous situation. That's because you didn't teach your child how to use their internet wisely. What is wrong with you people? Who wants to bet money that they removed all the footage of any parent with positive outlooks just to make Roblox look bad? Huh? Taking all bets, guys. Taking all bets. Now, there are, there, are, uh, there are other games on the app like SpongeBob, Hide and Seek, mm -hmm. that seem kind of harmless. But what's really sparking the conversation here is about the interaction that the kids can have with strangers, mm -hmm. basically. Well, all the problems you just mentioned can be solved by teaching your child how to be safe online. But I guess the dumb s*** at the news station don't care. They just want the green... It's the green. They're all in it for the green. As you just saw from that clip, the news station doesn't really go into detail and doesn't give any solutions to how you can solve issues with Roblox at all. They did it for the, for the views. And everyone with at least 10 brain cells knows that. If you thought that was bad, just wait till you see this report. This one is... The same as the last, but with more cringe and a more relevant topic from Roblox. Let's dive in. We are revealing a shocking element slipped into some kids' internet games. Roblox, one of the most popular kid gaming pl platforms, it reaches more than 90 million users monthly across the world. Now parents are on high alert after finding <laughs> graphic images in some games. A warning, the story may not be suitable for all viewers. Our Lauren Freeman explains what's going on and what you can do to keep your kids safe. Ah, uh, great. 18 plus content on Roblox, everyone's favorite topic. This is going to be worth watching. Let's continue. Their image is disturbing for most adults to see. I am questioning everything about the world right now. Did they really censor Roblox avatars? Alright, I'm going to continue before I nitpick any further on the cringe. George Tudor was horrified and angered by what his six-year-old daughter saw. Unfortunately, we walked into the room, uh, looked at the screen, and it looked like someone, I guess, had hacked into the game and uh, posted a graphic picture of a woman on the side of one of the walls of the building. Now, I respect this parent, 100%. I would also be horrified if I had a six-year-old child seeing something like that. That's hard to take in as a parent, and I don't blame him for speaking out. The only thing I could come at him for is that he picked the wrong damn news station to create a story about this. Tudor reached out to Roblox. 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 What did she just say? Another careless mispronunciation. I'm telling you, these guys don't give a shit about this. They just desperate for a story. And to put more icing on the cake, she says it like that throughout the entire news report. And it's not an isolated incident. Other parents have found similar images. Put those images away before I sue somebody. <laughs> to get to the root of the problem, you need to understand how Roblox works. And apparently, so do you. If you knew how Roblox works, you would have had a much better report. A click on that. Think of it as a YouTube for video games. Mm, seems legit. I can understand that analogy. A gamer makes an account, then it's free to create and upload a game. The lack of detail is so irritating to listen to. Seriously, who hired these guys? 
Uh, this one, I feel like this is going to be popular. But an open platform can turn into open season for game creators with bad intentions. What? That shit. Away. Please, you're hurting my brain. Yes, open platforms can lead to bad content, but teaching your child online safety can help them avoid that. I can't really blame the child involved since he was six. And yeah, that shouldn't have happened, but the news reporters couldn't care less about that, right? Yeah, I thought so. Tammy Bomack is a Roblox marketing VP. If there is an incident like that, um, we work with parents uh, to make sure that we're responding as quickly as possible. They dragged an employee to this bullshit story. Feels bad, my man. Roblox says over the past two years, they've hired more than 800 people to moderate their site. Eight hundred employees, and I ranted about that sh for ten minutes. Wow. I have just questioned everything about the universe. But it is still important that parents ask questions about what their child is doing. For George Tudor, it's about having honest conversations with your child. For something like that, you're not going to be in trouble at all. We want to know about things like that because our number one goal as parents is to protect our kids. Mad respect for that logic. Kudos to you, Tudor. If you see inappropriate content, report it to Roblox immediately. You need to get some speech therapy. Also, as I mentioned in my last video, reports don't work unless the person said gay. My god, these news reporters ain't got no brains. They all talk drunk, sound very unconvincing don't care about the parents, and they all stutter or mispronounce something as carelessly as possible. Alright, so... These news reports, as you can see, have no effort and time put into them whatsoever, and the reason they make me mad is because people could believe this if they actually trust this news source when this information is not only misleading but it but it's pretty like you can see the lack of care and effort put into these reports and like the news station doesn't even care about the incidents of that they use as examples for the topic they bring up they just want the story, and it's they make it way too obvious. Like, to be honest with you, it's more of a clusterfuck than a report. So, bottom line, don't trust these news reports. They are cringe, they are misleading, and they will get you nowhere. Alright, that's the end. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and hop into my Discord server. Just got an activity boost. This is Infrared God, signing out. Peace.